all of us. Simple enough, right? Ruthie Hebert, our Pac-12 Player of the Week, was 12 for 12 in the Ducks' win yesterday, so we're expecting her to continue on because she was great in our practice round, right, Sabrina? I mean, perfect all she the way through. She carrying the team on her back. <laughs> <laughs> carrying the team on her back. I mean, Sabrina helps out occasionally, but it's mostly, occasionally. It's mostly Ruthie's team. <laughs> All right, Ruthie. you too. So let's get right into question number one. Question number one of 12 here on week three of the Teammate Challenge Live. On Sunday, you both became the second and third sophomores in Oregon history to reach 1,000 points. Look at Sabrina already writing. Who was the first Oregon okay. sophomore to join the 1,000 nice point club? She's number 14, right? Jillian Aileen. Look at that. They even got her number up there. One yeah. for one. Ruthie's perfection continues. <laughs> and now, Ruthie, I, I believe I, I talked to you earlier in the season during practice, and you talked about Jillian being a pretty great mentor to you. Oh, yeah, she's great. Um, I remember coming in on my visit and her talking to me. I remember watching her work out last year, and she was just, I always watched her when the Ducks played, and she's just a great person all, all the way around. And uh, in other words, if you would have gotten that question wrong, she would have been really, really upset. Yeah. I remember, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we also want to shout out the senior, Lexi Bando, also a member of the 1,000 Point Club. She came back yesterday. All right, you two, one for one. Let's go on to question number two. Keep on rolling with these Oregon Ducks. Question number two. The U.S. won its first Olympic gold medal of the 2018 Winter Games okay. over the weekend. Which sport was it in? So the U.S. won its first gold medal over the weekend. Which sport was it in? Look how quick they are. Get it. Shot clock's only down to like 25. <laughs> Doesn't even look like they need a hint. <laughs> and the answer is, and they're even drawing pictures to go along yeah. with it. Two for two, and I'm going to give them two bonus points. I'm not sure if I can award those, but they're award playing it, Pictionary, Teammate Challenge. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. All right, so really now Ruthie is 14 of 14, and Sabrina's two for two today. So great job, you two. The Ducks continuing to roll. Okay, question number three. Question number three in week three. Ruthie Hebert has had four games this season where she Ruthie didn't did miss a so field goal attempt. Which, which games USU, were they? Texas A&M. Oh, my head. Texas A&M. I love that Sabrina is diving into this one. ASU. That her teammate now. One, two. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four. What you mean? No, that's this one. One, two, one, two three. Yeah. There was four ASU. games. Two were in conference play. Two yeah, were in non-con. Texas A&M. Preseason? No. Miss. No. <laughs> oh, that's 30 uh -huh. seconds. Okay, one last hint. Oh, Washington State, correct. Texas A&M, correct. ASU, uh, I, correct. I, I never thought Eastern Washington. And I'll give Eastern you Washington. one hint. The mascot of the team you forgot is the Eagle. Eastern Washington. Boom, got it. Okay, we're going to maybe subtract the bonus points from the last time. and. Yeah, so we're three for three, technically. Yeah, yeah. I'm calling this three for three. I'm, I'm checking you. back with the... Uh, Control room. Yep, control I mean, room. I said it was okay, we're saying they're three for three. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Great, Shout out. Jo great job, team. <laughs> we might have a few ducks in the control room today. Could you tell? Okay, question number four. They're just going to get harder from here, you two. Question number four. Name the most recent Pixar movie that stars a 12 year old guitar playing Miguel. Oh, we know this. The most recent Pixar movie. Yeah. I know Pixar movies are huge. Boom! Look at that. <laughs> Sabrina, the trail three, nailing it. <laughs> so have you two seen Coco? Coco? Not yet. No, not yet. You haven't <laughs> seen it, but you know the name. We're, we're just... We're waiting. We, we prepared for this day. I yeah. See, prep, practice makes perfect. I appreciate that. We got great teammates. Exactly. And... And did Sabrina, did you ever visit Pixar? Because it's here in the Bay Area. Did you visit no, before you went up to Oregon? No, I have not. Okay, well, maybe they're watching today because I know that there's <laughs> duck fans all over the Bay Area. So maybe next year when you visit the Bay, you have to do a Tell team visit like or something. Tell them I'd like an invite. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Question number five in the teammate challenge. The Ducks are perfect four for four so far today. Who's the last female head coach of the Oregon that's women's my, basketball my team. Wow. Number 24. <laughs> this is, this is, <laughs> I mean, this is, on. we know this This one. is impressive stuff. This was, we had a pre-show meeting today and pretty much everyone was convinced that you weren't going to know that one. 
Oh, no. Who wouldn't know her? Living legend. Exactly. <laughs> Played for the Canadian national team in the Olympics, right? Was a superstar, yeah. four-year Ducks before coaching. Wow. Okay. So five for five, the Oregon Ducks. <laughs> I mean, why are we surprised, right? Sabrina Ionescu, Becky. reigning <laughs> tackle freshman of the year. You. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I know. We're, we're trying. We're trying. We're trying to get 12 out of 12. I like it. Okay. Number six. Question number six. What is the name of Cardi B's breakout hit. Bodak Yellow. Yep. <laughs> you know me, Cardi B. What? <laughs> Look at that. Did you hear the buzzer go off before they'd even yeah. held up? That that's that's code for there's a lot of ducks in the control room today. Yeah, we had they had six faith in for us. six. And I heard I, I heard a, a rumor that in uh, the green room back here at the Pac-12 oh. Network during our media days in October that that was the most requested songs. Can you confirm really? that rumor? We yeah. didn't request it. But we didn't request it, but we danced along to it if it, if it went on. What yeah. songs were you requesting at media day back here in October? We did um, Swag Surf and you were trying to take pictures. Oh, we, we did we were, Swag Surf. Can we get a little of that right now? Can the two of you Swag Surf? That way. Mm. See, the screen's delayed, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like you're surfing really slowly. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, six for six. We, I, I feel like you guys might have to give me some harder questions during the no. competition. No, no, no. No, no? Okay. No, we just need a Okay, question number tall. seven. Six for six so far. Question number seven. Sabrina Metter, Idol John Stockton this weekend. Yeah. What NBA oh, record does he hold? What six. NBA record does the longtime sports guard no, for the Utah already, Jazz no. hold? And bonus points, bonus points if you can name the former Pac-10 star from my alma mater, who's number two on the list. Who's, where's your alma mater? Go Bears. It is. Who's, it your, is. who's your alma mater? Cal. California Golden well, Bears. This that? is the first one. There you go. There you go. Okay. But what, what, was, the, what was the bonus uh, one? Yeah. Bonus points if you can name the former Pac-10 star from my alma mater. I'm a California Golden Cal? Bear. Mm-hmm. Like Male? you, Sabrina. Yep. Like you, he's from the Bay. Oh, I know this one. This is just a test. Ugh. This is, man, I, I feel, I just want to apologize to all the future teammates coming on to our teammate challenge. I knew the Ducks would be good. I didn't expect them to be perfect so far. So Thank seven you. for seven. Thank you for this is helping why. me with that assist. I was so nervous. <laughs> this Thanks. is why they're tied for the lead right now in the Pac-12 conference. should have gone with my gut. Stupid lead. All right, ties. question number See eight. <laughs> you two ready for question eight? Yeah. I feel like I don't even have to ask that at this point. All right, it is Black History Month, so which recent Oregon men's basketball coach was the first ever African-American head coach Dang. at Oregon? Who? Which recent Oregon men's basketball coach mm -hmm. was the first ever African-American head coach at the O? Mm -hmm. He's not there any longer, but he may be coaching. <laughs> oh, wait. He may be coaching at another Pac-12 place. He's coaching school. another Pac-12 place. Rudy Kent. Oh, oh, you it's may want to alter one of those names. You may want to alter one not, of those it's names. It's not Rudy. I know his last name's Kent. We just, we call him Coach Kent. Yeah, Coach Kent. <laughs> Coach Kent. <laughs> yeah. Now they're We're coming up with the excuses. Here. We're professional It's, it's professional. Ernie Kent. <laughs> we got Kent. We, we, got Kent. Miss, we don't, Mr. Kent. Okay, Coach Kent, I'm going to have to check in with the control room. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, control room is saying no go. They say you didn't oh get it my in. Oh, that's gosh. crazy. Seven of eight. That one rimmed out. It was going down the cylinder and then <laughs> it should. rimmed out. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> we're coming back for you guys. Yes. Okay, okay. A little payback here. Question number nine. Question number nine. You two are from Alaska and California but oh call gosh. Oregon home now. So what is Oregon's state capital? <laughs> on my flight back from Oregon last weekend, somebody was testing me on these. So boom, look at that. 25 Salem. ticks still on the shot clock. Somewhere. They are eight for nine. The Ducks are shooting the lights out today. Feeling pretty good, Ruthie? No. No, We're this is unacceptable. We should we have got to talk to back to them. Yeah, we need to talk to them. We're going to be in California like four times next year. So we'll come over there. We're coming. We're not happy. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that control room? I, I'm going to pass the blame on to the control room. Yeah, okay. you should. Yeah. They're coming for you. Oh, they just told me that uh, we're going to tweet this to Ernie and see what he thinks. 
Coach. Oh, Coach Cat. <laughs> Coach Cat. Coach Cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they are currently eight of nine. So let's move on to question number ten. Is eight for nine? A yeah. little more pop culture. Which artist produced the soundtrack for the new Marvel film Black Panther? Which artist produced the soundtrack for the new Marvel film Black Panther? Ooh, those faces look like stumped faces. Lamar. Yeah. Lamar. Oh, yeah, they might dock us. Yeah. Uh, Schoolboy Q. <laughs> Schoolboy look at that Q. sass. Did you see that Sabrina sass? I liked it. How much time we got? Oh, we got extra time. Just gonna draw a little just bit. Just yeah, draw a little something control out there. Room? Control room? <laughs> <laughs> control room, what say you? <laughs> So the control room says you are correct and they are also laughing hysterically in my ear right now. So well <laughs> done you two. See this is this is why they're playing so well and they're just sophomores because they got that sophomore swag. They've got yeah. the swag surfing going on. They got the chip on their shoulder. They like to be perfect. That's where success comes from. Okay so they are nine of ten. Nine of ten. Let's move on to question number eleven. Question number eleven. Who is hosting the Oscars this year? Who Who's hosting, hosting the Oscars, the Oscars this next, year? Month. next month? Who is? Who's hosting the Oscars? I'll give you a hint. Thank you. He might have his own late night show. Jennifer. He might have his own late night show. We'll and this is probably going to date me. Jimmy Fallon, anyone? Please. But he used to co-host another show with a guy named Adam Carolla. That was probably way before you. Yeah, you don't know that. Okay, so they oh. went with Jimmy Fallon in Kimmel. <laughs> the answer is Jimmy Kimmel. I would not have known that. Oh, they are nine for eleven. So oh Lord. this yeah, means this means that you two are currently tied with UCLA gymnastics. Ugh. Just like yeah. you're tied with UCLA Bruins and the Stanford Cardinal atop Ugh. the Pac twelve basketball Let's standings. Not talk about that. And you yeah. have one question to go. Ruthie. One question Walking to go. Time. Okay? Question number 12, because all of us here at the Pac-12 Network, especially me, thinks SIDs are underappreciated. I cannot do my job no. without your SIDs. So Joe Waltasty joined your staff oh, in 2013. Oh, he married his wife in 2015. Oh, what is Joe's oh, wife's name? What is Joe's wife's name? And her name is Lonnie, and congratulations to Joe and Lonnie. We didn't know there was a baby on the way. You're breaking news. There is a baby on the way. Future duck. Future duck. Control room? That is incredible. That okay? So our yeah. new leaders <laughs> in the Team A Challenge Live are Sabrina and Ruthie of the Oregon <laughs> women's basketball team with 10 out of 12. That is pretty darn impressive and not could surprising at all. Could be 11 at if the control room. Yeah, it could the have control been 11, room messed us up. Room <laughs> so they better not help anyone else out. Yeah, we weren't happy with <sighs> that. Let them know. That makes me so happy because pretty much the control room is full of ducks. And uh, yeah, oh. they, they were the ones being hard on you, which I love. Yeah, they were. <laughs> okay, you two. So we, we talked about how you were just tied with the UCLA gymnastics team. And you got big games coming up this weekend in Eugene, <laughs> right? The LA is coming to town. Yep. Yep, big game. Friday against <laughs> USC and then Monday night against UCLA. And it looks like we have our new leaderboard. So let's take a look at this because it always looks better to see yourself on top, oh. right? <laughs> go ahead, move UCLA, us up. UCLA, move us up. Move move us up. up. Oregon State, <laughs> and there's Sabrina and Ruthie with 10. Okay. <laughs> so you guys, even though you're not at the actual top, you are, as we can see from the correct answers column, in the lead right now, 10 out of 12. Oh my goodness, that is going to be hard to beat. Is there anybody that you would like to thank for your incredible performance? Because uh, we talked um, about the Oscars. If you got to do an acceptance speech, <clears throat> what would you say? I, Who would you thank? I just want to thank Coach Kelly for holding us to such high standards and pushing us every day in practice to become who we are today. Uh, he just makes us become better individuals off the court. I mean, Coach, Coach Ernie's amazing. <laughs> We dedicate everything to him. I mean, he's just a great guy. We know him on first name basis. Um, yeah. So shout out to Coach and and Jimmy. Jimmy, good old Jimmy. <laughs> Sorry about that, Jimmy. Sorry, but Jimmy. The control room is messing Kimmel, us up. <laughs> Same thing. Going on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh man, well it's a good thing that you two weren't actually on the Oscars, but I, I can tell because <laughs> my phone has been blown up with comments that Facebook and Twitter and everybody watching online really enjoyed it. So can we get maybe a Go Ducks to end today's teammate challenge? Go Ducks! <laughs> <laughs> All right, they are Ruthie and Sabrina. They are our new leaders in the Pac-12 Network Teammate Challenge Live, which only means Oh, week four is going to be a whole lot of fun. They play USC Friday night at Matthew Knight Arena, UCLA in a battle for first on Monday night, and the Pac-12 tournament in Seattle just a couple weeks again, uh, weeks away. So, Ruthie, Sabrina, thanks so much for coming on. It was so much fun, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in Seattle in a few weeks. Thank you. Bye. Oh,